They just sacrifice each other to the pagan gods. I have to apologize because uh, my computer was having technical difficulties the other day when I was um, asking for questions for this. Uh, and so I think I posted it three times. <laughs> and so like all the questions, you guys like wrote them on different like posts. I'm sorry if that confuses anyone. Uh, they have since been deleted because we've got some questions and I don't want to confuse further people. Yes. So thank, thank you. you thank you for all your questions mm -hmm. and we'll try to answer them to the best of our abilities. Somebody said, how are you ladies doing? <laughs> you know what? I, I won't go into it too much, but... <laughs> This week has been on and off. I've had some ups, but I feel like, for the most part, <laughs> my, my motivation has been kind of low. Thank you, by the way. <laughs> um, yeah, thanks for asking. How are you? Yeah. <laughs> Wait a second. How are you? <laughs> I haven't seen her all day. She came back in and started screaming. Uh -oh. Bye. What is the first K-pop group that you got into? BTS. BTS. <laughs> um, how did you get into K-pop? Should I, should I, you got in because of me, but mm -hmm. I'll say how I yeah. did. So, I don't know if anyone knows, but you should, because he's super talented and really funny. There's this YouTuber called Robert IDK, and he made a reaction video several summers ago to uh, DNA by BTS, and I watched that and was like, okay, okay, this is kind of, kind of not what I was expecting from K-pop, because I had a, some stigmas against, uh, around it, you know? So, I went and looked that music video up, and I loved it. I was like, <laughs> and then I went and watched Blood, Sweat, and Tears, and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then it was all downhill from there. No, I'm kidding. It was all, it was all uphill, and then after that, Shiny happened, and then after that, and then after that, yeah. and then now we're here together. And we stand like we stand thirty groups. Yeah, it's and crazy. This person said, "What do you think of Stray Kids?" Oh my God! Don't even get do me started. Do you want the long answer? Bro. <laughs> but like. Basically, what's the question? <laughs> there are people who like I really love their lyrics. Once I started getting to know them more and listening to their songs, like all their lyrics are so like everyone can relate to some of their lyrics. Mm -hmm. I swear, because because they know that everyone like gets in those moods that where it's like kind of a dark place and you're we're stray. Yeah, we're stray kids. <laughs> Everyone can be stray mm -hmm. kids. Once I started to get to know like Chan and like Hyunjin and all the members individually, like they're all just so genuine and caring. And not to mention they're like all our same age, similar age. Yeah. So it's like... We kind of vibe with their sense of humor. Exactly. At a level that's different than BTS and different than other yeah. groups because they're literally like we're older yeah. than half of them. And, and like, younger, than, younger than, half than half of them. them. Yeah. So. The next question is favorite K-pop group? BTS. BTS, but I I detest saying favorite mm -hmm. because... Every group's different. Every group means something different to exactly. me. Exactly. I have different feelings for everyone. Exactly. Um, but I guess I'd say BTS since they were first. And yeah. also, I have a special connection with them. Yeah. So. I don't know why you're on my recommended, but when did you get into K-pop? <laughs> I've me, seen comments like that. made me giggle, so... I don't know why I'm on your recommended either. That's so Sorry. Funny. Again. Uh, year of the month. November 2017 and for me it was October slash November it was same time November, yeah um 2018 mm-hmm mm -hmm. yeah 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 <laughs> okay so basically this one person shout out to them um, and also apologies yes to them. because we cannot find your comment we but we did it. read them all out loud and so we, we remember have, most we of remember them. most of them but this person took the time to write down like 10 questions. Yeah. We appreciate it. We appreciate so, you. We remember the first one was about Eyes One. Is, is that it even how is, it's I said? think it's Is One. Is One? Eyes One? Is One? I don't know. I've heard it both ways. That's kind of the answer to your question. <laughs> we don't stand. No. But I have heard a We've lot heard about of them. them. Um, it's it's more of a thing is like we're not as into girl groups. Yeah. Controversial opinion. We want to be and we're slowly getting there. Yeah. I mean, but like right as of right now we only like like two or three groups. So I feel like you like three and I like two. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So there's a lot of girl groups out there that I want to get into but I haven't actually looked into them. So like I've been meaning to check them out because I've heard so many good things about them, but it also hurts my soul that they're a temporary group and like I don't want to get emotionally invested. What's your favorite BTS uh, unit and what's your favorite... No, it was NCT, NCT and, and Stray Kids. Kids. Yeah. NCT and Stray Kids. For NCT, it's NCT U but only Baby Don't <laughs> Stop version. <laughs> yeah. 
Ted and Taeyong, the iconic duo. Yeah. I think Local like vocal rap, yeah, that sort of thing. Dance line, dance line. I'd say that through Racha then. Through Racha. <laughs> So, this is not like if we were a judge and taking everything into consideration. We're just this is like saying, our biased opinion. Yeah, we're biased. Yeah. When you're in the K-pop world, That's the thing. you're biased. Yeah. Yeah, but so. let's just do off the top of the rock. Is that just I don't think so, but I just made a one. Um, <laughs> NCT Kick It and Punch, but then I also like NCT Dream, Quiet Down, and Brighton, and they're pretty equal. But then Stray Kids with God's Menu and Easy is like top tier, but then so is BTS with On and Black Swan. Oh yeah, true. Probably Wannabe. It's the... Yeah. I don't even know what's considered... Oh, DKB. male DKB! DKB! <laughs> obviously! <laughs> I honestly don't. I, I can't We wait. don't follow girl groups. And Comment down below your favorite girl group and why you like them. Yes. Because I would definitely give be Give us a good reason, though. Or, like, link down a music video or something. Yeah, we'll watch them. Hwasa. Mm -hmm. Are you kidding me? Maria? Yeah. For Yeah, for female, Hwasa, for sure. Hwasa, yeah. Um, but for male, I, I don't know. I, I say Taemin, but then also Kang Daniel's been killing it. Yeah. Yeah, we answered all the questions, and then obviously we answered more last night that I'm going to eat into this video. So well, I think we'll have a good collection of them. Have you ever had a dream about a K-pop idol? Okay. A lot of first. times. A lot of times. Many times. In fact, last night... <sighs> last night, Chan showed up in my <laughs> dream. Last night, Chan showed up... <laughs> Basically, long story short, I was like at this school and he was just roaming the campus. I've had that we dream We just had before. a little conversation, but I don't remember the conversation I've had, in detail. I've had a dream of meeting Chan on campus as well, That's and sweet. I in fact wrote this dream down, and it's like a really funny dream, so if you guys want me to read that or read some... She writes her dreams down. Yeah, they're person. pretty funny. Um, I have funny dreams, but I never write them down. Well, some of them you text to me, and they're really funny. That's okay, true. let us know if you guys would be interested in seeing like a dream video, like where we talk about dreams, because we have a lot of dreams with K-pop mm -hmm. idols. Hers mm -hmm. are kind of cool, like where she's at concerts and stuff. Anyway. Yes, and it's funny. Uh, also, <laughs> this person said, um, can you tell me your age? I really want to know it so bad. We're, We're both, both 20! 20. <laughs> <laughs> and also, um, do you want to become a K-pop idol? Ooh. If not, what would be your future goals? Well, I, of course I would dream about being K-pop idol, but I don't see that happening. But um, backup dancer, or like choreographer. Backup dancer and choreographer, that is literally something I want to work towards. Yeah. But for now, my like small term goal for that is to just go to Korea and take dance classes there. So you know how BTS and some other groups they have these really long mm -hmm. concepts that stretch out through all their like discography and like everything, mm -hmm. music videos, whatever. I feel like I could come up with cool ones, you know? Yeah. Yeah, if a group needs a concept, yeah. that would be like so perfect. Yeah, hit me up. But also be really fun. Yeah. Obviously I edit videos, so Yeah. Hire me. Video editor. <laughs> they also said, Is counting important in dance? And if so, how do mm -hmm. I work on it? Oh, that's a good question. I like answering this. So basically, um, you're either a count person or you're not, in my opinion. I'm not a count person, so like, if I were to give my advice, is like, you don't necessarily have to be good at counting to be at, good at dance, in my opinion. It's more focused on musicality for me. So like, I listen to words and beats in the songs. So if that works better for you, then there's no problem in in using that over counts, in my opinion. But also, since so many teachers do use counts over time it gets like easier to understand but and also if you do if counting is important to you and something you want to get better at then i recommend just listening to songs and like practicing counting the beats and like is this a fa fast beat song like five six seven eight or is it like one two three four just like five. work on your musicality basically that's a good answer cool dance teacher over here <laughs> It all started with ETS, yeah. and it will end there too. That's very dark. <laughs> I mean, let's try and sum it up in a sentence. Ten words. Ten words. Ready? Okay, so how K-pop changed my life. Um, gave me self-love and confidence. <laughs> Rot. 
new meaning to happiness. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty good. She was stressed, you guys, I could tell. Brought new meaning to happiness. <laughs> Taught me how to enjoy being alive. Aussie, Aussie yeet. <laughs> A plus. <laughs> I couldn't think of three words. Aussie, Aussie, yeet. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? That was perfect. Thank you. Uh, favorite Stray Kids song? Go. Right now it's easy. Right now it's easy. Right now for me, I think it's Pacemaker. I've been listening nice. to that one a lot. Yeah. Uh, it changes a lot though. Yeah, literally. Uh, what's your guys' favorite K-pop choreography? I feel like one of my favorite K-pop choreographies that always comes to mind is um, Seventeen, Don't Cry. I think of Lily Liabay. Uh, <laughs> yes. Liabay. I think of um, Astro. Uh, Same! Oh my god, Astro! Thank you! You're That's what I was trying to think of. I think of um, Crazy Sexy Crazy Cool. Sexy cool. Crazy, crazy Sexy, sexy cool. cool and Baby. Baby, yeah. My favorite choreography. Well, Gossip has some really freaking good yeah. dances. Oh, you calling my name. I calling my it. name. You calling my name. Yeah, yes. that one. We should stop. Yeah. This will go course. on. It literally will. Uh, at what age did you start standing K-pop? Um, How many years 18. ago? 18. 18? I was 18. I was 17. 17. Yeah, so it's been a couple years. I annoyed her with it for like a year. Yeah, I was like, never. And then we watched Meteor Garden. <laughs> and it warmed me up to like hearing a different language. Hearing different language, like, subtitles. Because I love that show. And yeah. so I was like, alright, you know, I'll give K-pop a try. And then as soon as I started getting to know BTS, I mean, I... I feel like Blood, Sweat, and Tears is what really did it. Yeah. The last one on here is milk or cereal first. Oh, cereal. Cereal. If you Pe pour your milk first, get you are out. a sociopath. <laughs> oh, Literally. But also no judgments. <laughs> oh, no judgments. We, we, we love everyone, but if you pour your milk first, get out. <laughs> Have you ever heard of Slump? Slump! Yes. Slump! <laughs> have you guys heard that song from yeah. Stray Kids? That song is like a rock song. Yeah. That would be so cool if yeah. they could do more songs like that. Okay, now that I'm actually thinking my right mind, um, I would definitely say like R&B. Because we haven't really seen that Fenton much from them. Fenton wants to do that. Exactly. We've seen like hip-hop with like Easy. that was very hip-hop, but like, I would love to see more R&B like um, Hyunjin's song that he was, like, composing a lot for, like, SoundCloud yeah. or something, like, yes, please! I want rock, she wants R&B. Let's yeah. go. <laughs> okay, let me check Instagram and see if any of the locals came through, but I doubt the it. locals! No one likes me! Frick you! But thank you guys but on thank YouTube. thank you guys on YouTube. You were great. Y'all came through, yeah. the locals didn't. The locals didn't. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Congratulations, Stray Kids, on 100 million views. Woo! That's my And it's a very I low-key streamed it. Yeah. I, I made it on a playlist and we we'll like. Or, um. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm cringing so hard now. <laughs> Shut up. Oh, uh, yeah, that was a bad idea. Um, they're supposed to be How about you just end it with a clip of Doc B? Okay. That's better. About That's better. And we need more um, BBs. More BBs. You BB! Oh. <laughs> you BB! <laughs> okay, that's the end. Goodbye! Bye.